Over the years, many persons have provided beautiful communion tables for the church. Elaine and John Ehlers gave the sanctuary communion table in memory of their parents, Aurea and Francis Ehlers, and Norval and Ida George. Billy Keene, artist and Coker member, designed and created the communion table and paintings in the upper room. The Trawick family gave another beautiful table, which is currently in storage. Carl Dykman crafted the sanctuary pulpit. John Williams built the communion table in the Rock Church. Margaret Leonard gave an earlier table, which is located in the narthex. Other pulpits and communion tables are used in various classrooms. The communion rail in the sanctuary was given in memory of Augusta East by the East family. The handrails into the chancel were given in memory of Forrest Taylor. The stained glass windows of the Rock Church are original. They are in memory of or in honor of loved ones. Brass plates above the windows give the names of the honorees. Rob Grimes, potter and son of Reverend Robert Grimes, Coker pastor from 1968 to 1977, designed and created the communion vessels used in the Rock Church, the sanctuary, and the upper room. The large baptismal font given by the Trawick family and the candle holders in the sanctuary are the work of Brother Cletus, noted San Antonio artist, who is responsible for other works of art, including the Madonna and Child in the narthex. A tapestry depicting the Last Supper adorns the back wall of the Rock Church. It was given by David and Mary Watson in memory of their daughter, Wendy. The paraments were designed and woven by Mrs. Lori Sliz. Her inspiration for the design came from our stained glass windows. Robin Hensley created the white paraments for special seasons. The Greek cross, a cross with all arms being equal, is one of the earliest Christian symbols. This symbol is seen in the paraments, above the chancel, and atop the sanctuary tower. It appears in a circle to remind us that Christ's sacrifice was the redemption for the whole world. Many members have provided musical instruments, nursery items, and chairs for the choir. All worship areas and classrooms are blessed with gifts of Bibles, hymnals, crosses, and pews. Coker's members have chosen many ways to beautify the church buildings and grounds and to provide for the needs of those who follow.